Hello, this is Jordan Cordite. I am doing the documentation for the CS390 Crestron AV Programming Independent Study. This will cover how to get all the programs necessary for the Crestron programming. First, we're going to get our masterinstaller.exe. This file is, is found on the Crestron website. However, there will be a, a file in, uh, in the Google Drive for that. Sorry for my speech. I'm not used to recording, so this is going to be a fun trip for both of us. Also, I am currently recording in my apartment, and my housemates might be playing video games or talking loudly, so I apologize for that in advance. So first, we're going to go to masterinstaller.exe. I have this pinned to my start menu. We're going to run this as an administrator because if you don't run this as an administrator, it throws a hissy fit. So we're going to get our Crestron database here selected. These are all different applications that the installer will install for you. And then it will automatically select components that are required for each one. So for instance, the simple Windows and smart graphics, these and simple plus cross compiler, these three will all require the device database and the Crestron database. So we're just going to select the Crestron database, simple Windows, simple Windows plus, or simple plus cross compiler, my bad, smart graphics, toolbox, this is a very, very useful tool, we'll need that, and also the Vision Tools Pro E. I forget exactly what that is short for, but we'll find out shortly. So we're going to click next button, see all these different uh, all these different programs, click next. And this is just going to tell you where it's going to install it. You can change it directly by clicking either of these buttons. I'm going to keep clicking through these. I'm going to accept these blindly because I'm an idiot. I'm going to click next. And this is going to say, this is what we're installing. If you're installing this for the first time, it'll show a lot more things to install. I'm going to click the remove downloaded file after installation. So basically it's going to remove the install the installer files once we're done. So now I'm going to click download and install. Now I am going to enter my credentials for the Crestron uh, website. The, this, this account was given to me through Adam Tozer in the CIT department. And if you would like access to this, you need to contact him. So I am currently going to just enter my credentials. Thankfully, it blurs it out for me. So I need to I need to close this out. Still thinks it's open. For some reason. There we go. Now it's actually closed. So it's basically just up doing an update right now. So yours will take a lot longer. This is just a quick little database update. Shouldn't take terribly long. Keyword shouldn't. I should just excuse me, redo this. But I'm not going to because I'm lazy. Let's see what I can do about cutting this out. Done. You should be done. Why aren't you done? Okay, it says installed. I'm assuming it's done. I'm going to hit cancel. Close the master installer. I'm going to open it up again just to make 
make sure that everything is all set. Cool. Nothing needs an update, so we should be fine. Yes, I need to close. So that is how we'll get our tools all set up. So the next thing you're going to want to do is go to Toolbox. Toolbox, you don't need to run as an administrator, but I am going to. So here we have our toolbox window. We're going to maximize that real quick. And you see this icon right here? It's an I. We'll click System Info. And it already has one running. So we're going to leave this. And down here, we have different connection types. So you can click on USB. You can click on any of these other serial connections. But another fancy one is this little tool, this pen icon, or pencil icon right here. You can select TCP, and you know the IP address of the device you want to connect to. You type that in here, and we can connect to that. However, seeing as we are connected via USB to our RMC3 processor, we have everything we need right here. The main thing we need is the IP address. So right click here. Maybe. Okay, never mind. You used to be able to right click and copy IP address, but you're just going to remember that IP address because we will need that for the touch panel later. So just remember that is your IP address. This is currently mine. Yours will be different. So do keep that in mind. And odds are, by the time you're watching, mine will no longer be connected. So this IP address will be assigned to something else on Calvin's Wi-Fi or internet. And then aside from that, I believe that is everything you need to know to get everything started. Uh, once you have your RMC3 processor plugged in to PoE and connected to USB to your computer, you can find the IP address. Once you have that IP address, you don't necessarily need the USB cable anymore, but they do have a tendency to get re reassigned IP addresses via DHCP. So keeping it plugged in is probably your best bet, unless it's an installed system. So that is it for the basic tutorial. I will be making another recording for the actual programming of the process. So stay tuned for that.